but when you were starting the brand, obviously you had, you had started using wool. You really liked that fabric. Were there any non-negotiables that you had had from a manufacturing perspective that you wanted to make sure, like from a principal standpoint, you adhered to with the wool shirt? Yeah. Yeah. And just a note on that, you know, I think we, we, um, and in, with industrial revolution, like, yeah, things start off like better, right? They start off like, oh, now we can make this for way cheaper. But then like the person that makes quality shoes, like he loses his job, but we can buy these shoes that are just somewhat uh, not as good, um, but for like, you know, a tenth of the price. But then as that reaches, as that scales, um, you know, it, it basically like the quality goes down tenfold, a hundredfold, and then it just gets shipped out to like the cheapest global competitor. And it's not a, it's not only like not an ethical system, it's just not a sustainable system, right? Like, cause it's, it creates like an entire world, what we don't even see, you know, we don't see their waste. We don't see them as people, how they're living their lives. Um, and it just, it basically is just like, for the cheapest price possible. And then it tricks us thinking that, you know, you can buy a pillow for $5 at Walmart, right? Like you, and you think like, oh, a pillow's a pillow, but it's just, it's not like material wise, everything. Um, so yeah, and then to answer your second question, um, yeah, so we, we started off and um, we were just looking into, at first we were just looking at getting the pillow manufactured. Um, and so we contacted all these like organic bedding companies and we're reaching out to them. And, um, and even in organic bedding, we just found it. It's just not the standard that we want. Um, most of them use synthetic thread and this sounds like so petty, but to, to us, it's extremely important, but um, like in the thread, the stitching that um, it can be certified organic and still have, you know, synthetic thread, which means microplastic, which means, you know, flame retardant and chemicals and, basically just a petroleum plastic, you know, that you're still breathing in, even if it's minute. Um, and then we just found like, yeah, when, when you, when you scale things to like a big level, it's hard not to, um, I guess, conform to the bedding world. Right. So there's just a lot of plastic components and stuff that we didn't want. Um, and then it was also like really big order minimums and we were just like, we're a really small company. So we just thought, okay, we'll start it ourselves. Um, and we really wanted to source American fabric, uh, which was out of everything, it was the hardest thing to do. Um, finding American woven fabric is really difficult, um, especially post COVID. Uh, a lot of the mills have shut down. It's just really sad what's happened to this country. Uh, we used to be a huge cotton producer and um, not only a producer of cotton, but also of uh, weaving cotton and uh, knitting cotton. And there's still a lot of knit knitwear, but as far as wovens, um, there's just not a lot. And so, um, yeah, we were lucky, luckily able to find, we got connected with some people in the industry and we were able to find uh, cotton for our cases. And uh, that's grown in Texas, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the, I think ability to actually create a product fully made in America is so admirable. And there's a few brands who are doing it so well, like, Sisu Sauna, they are using American Redwood and actually using Amish labor in Ohio to create this amazing sauna. Um, I think of like Jocko's, um, Jocko's company Origin, which is using American labor. And I'm not exactly sure if he's, I think he's using denim that's, that's made in America, but it's just remarkable to me to see the shift where there are actually brands who are just willing to take the risk in some ways of just bringing things back on shore and creating American made products. But then you look back and you see the the positive benefits of it. Americans getting employed and actually, you know, in this industry where we we've basically let it die off manufacturing in the U S it's, it used to be the backbone of the country. And so I'm just curious for you, when you think about scaling, you know, I imagine obviously being U.S. is something that's a non-negotiable for you guys, but that challenge of just continuing to build the brand with this high integrity, how do you think about that? Yeah, I um, I dream really big uh, when it comes to that. Like, I think about this all the time, and I've um, I've given some real thought as to how we can keep 
the Wolfshire growing and support American business. Um, either us or uh, or somebody would like to um, start uh, like bring back more American manufacturing um, and then scale it with the business. Like I think building another mill in Texas um, close to where the cotton's grown uh, would be really cool. Obviously that's a multi-million dollar uh, project down the road. We're not there or not even any close, anything close to that, but, um, but either us or somebody else, it doesn't have to be us, but um, kind of like, we want to vertically integrate and um, keep things American. And I think that's, that's the way to do it. It's possible that the company we work with now could keep up with us um, quite a bit, but we we'd like to get into other, other products as well. Um, comforters and other wool bedding items. So, mm. so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's crazy to dream like that big, but also I think if you don't have that, then, you know, it's, it's, it's limiting. So yeah, you need people like you in the industry that are willing to go after and attack difficult problems. And you're the perfect example of that. Like this business really started out of what you wanting to provide, you know, your children with something that's non-toxic, that's safe, that's super high quality. And you look at what you've already built in a short period of time. And it's exciting to think about what you guys are going to do five years from now. And I, I think we can bet that pillows are really just the start of everything that you're doing at the Wilshire 